All right, third review of the trip. Um, it's an Ancestry Brewing Company based out of Tualatin, Oregon. Uh, this is the Piney IPA Indie Pale Ale. Alcohol by volume is 7.1, 61 IBUs. Um, apparently they claim this is going to be a very piney uh, beer. So No hops listed. It said uh, some tropical fruit and berry aromas give way mm. to piney yeah. finish and Balance flavors. with the malt finish. Yeah. So let's see if they fucking hold up to their word here. Yeah. smells very piney. Does it really? Oh, fuck yeah. Dark golden, just verging on coppery color. Mm -hmm. Even almost just a slightly tinted head to it. Yeah. Well, the head's kind of like a golden color too. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, wow. Yeah, very hoppy up front for sure. Yeah, the pine's there. It's, yeah, it's definitely <laughs> Absolutely there. there. So. Again, I kind of get that mosaic sort of hop character out of it, you know. I just, to me, that's kind of a real trademark <clears throat> of mosaics, but I don't know if that's what they, they're using. I, I don't know. It, it wasn't listed. We have no idea really what the hops are in it. Yeah, it just that they're 61 it. IBU, so it's, you know. Yeah. It's, it's got some balls for bitterness. Mmm, very well balanced. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. The pine taste is very there. It's definitely there. Um, <clears throat> you get some citrusy, some pine. <coughs> just that tinny sort of bitterness a little bit at the end. It does finish kind of malty after a few it does. seconds, doesn't it? It does. It's you right got like a couple end. seconds and then it just hits. Interesting. Yeah. It, it really goes through stages. Yeah. Very sectioned. Um, good. They're not lying about that. <laughs> and in fact, the more I drink of it, the pininess kind of gives way a little bit mm -hmm. uh, to the malt, and it just kind of opens up and becomes more, just more floral and more yeah. aromatic. So I guess all universal with that. A mm -hmm. little bit of bitterness, and... you know, up front, right? And then it mm -hmm. kind of fades away, and then you get a little more just kind of general hop sort of flavor at the end. I don't oh, know yeah. like what your taste interpretation is of it. I agree with the floralness. Beautiful color. It's, it's kind of heavy, too. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit rich. Yeah. You know, not uh, like brown ale, mm -hmm. stout you know dark grain rich no. but there's a multi richness to it it has some has some body and some <clears throat> texture and some character right. and mouthfeel to it that are this isn't something you just clown a bunch of you know it's like that's for sure how much was the booze seven one one yeah yeah it's brutal well yeah it's like you know you got a certain type of beer it's gonna go with certain types of food but with each beer I could change a little bit where you can add or take away mm -hmm. some and speaking of you know heavily kind of spiced type of things but not super hot what about like a black bean smoked chicken chili or something where you get a lot oh, of, yeah this a one... lot of character and a lot of complexity right. from the chili and the smoked out of the yeah. you know the chicken shredded up in there this, this would, would be, be good with like some solid. homemade fucking pea soup and shit too sure like, you know some like winter style you pour a little in there some jambalaya oh yeah be jambalaya great. that's be great. that's it that's the winner yeah jambalaya is the yep. winner some chicken chicken andouille sausage a little bit of shrimp red beans rice oh yeah beef base tomato uh you know a little white wine um uh, kitchen bouquet if you're kind of more like you know southern yeah. home style traditional mm -hmm. and some of this in there pour it in <laughs> absolutely man. jambalaya Absolutely. This would also make a good marinade. Marinade, yeah. So. Fuck yeah, it would. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, it's there. 